I have a lot of respect for the people at the ACLU who are litigators and investigators in the field. There's a guy named Michael German, who used to be an FBI agent, an undercover anti-terrorist agent, who was one of the leading voices for real civil liberties. However, I cannot understand, as I've told Anthony Romero, who's head of the ACLU, in a long argument we have, how can the ACLU, which was founded on the basis of the free speech provisions of the of the Bill of Rights, how can they support, as they do, hate crimes legislation? Hate crimes, and this is many cities and states and federally now because of the hate crimes federal legislation, if you, let's say, commit an assault or some kind of violent crime and they find out that you used to read a magazine or you were at a bar once and said something derogatory about blacks or Jews or whoever, Ah, oh, that's a hate crime that you just did. So in addition to the 10 to 12 years you'll get for the violent crime, you get another five or six. And as I tried to tell Anthony Romero with no success, James Madison, who after all knew a lot about the Constitution, said fairly early on, he said, I'm so pleased, I'm paraphrasing, to be part of a government, of a nation, that does not penalize you for what you think. And the hate crimes legislation is based entirely on what people think. If you commit the crime, of course you should be convicted, but not because years ago you read somebody who turned out to be a, a fascist even, and you might even have approved of something he said. That has nothing to do with the crime you actually can be proved to have committed. It's uh, very, dis I mean, I, I had some respect for Ted Kennedy in some ways, but he was an ardent supporter of hate crime legislation, and the new, the current federal bill is his bill. So again, you can't generalize. He was a Democrat, but he was also for hate crime. So he wasn't a complete supporter of the First Amendment.